Uh, gonna be really curious to see how Poppy fights his way in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far so good. He's got two quick openings, but not big combos off of them, so keep that in mind as well. There's the up throw back air into the up tilt back air. That's a really good combo there. Let's see how much more he can get out of this. Second hit only of up air. Ooh, he's just turning into an edge guard, but the poof will give Ben a burst of confidence. You love to see it. <laughs> Poppy able to find the wave dash back to slide off the slide platform after getting hit the shield on the aerial. Okay. Poppy edge guard situation. Oh, oh, he was on ledge for too long. Ben gonna take it with his cheeky double fair there. Really, really nice. Yup, that's brutal as he just finds the gimp basically while he's recovering here. See if Poppy can actually turn it into something else here. Finds the up okay, smash, yeah. closes it out pretty quickly. Yep, pretty clean there by Poppy to sort of erase the mistake and at least bring it back to even here. Um, I, I feel like he's doing a great job of getting a lot of little ticky-tack hits, mm -hmm. but um, if you give Ben too many oh! chances, oh, <laughs> that's how you don't give him chances right there. Yeah. He's like, no, no, I'm finding ginormous kill moves. And by ginormous kill moves, I mean Shine to deals 3%. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, but the forward airs are going to answer right back. Ben seems to find a lot of hits there. He seems to have a little bit more control in neutral, but right now Poppy is explosive enough to where you don't know if he's going to find another one of those big combos or big gimps, right? So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Ben getting oh, the edge again. <laughs> is that a burst of confidence or only half a burst of confidence? That's a, that's a confidence killer. And a phantom down smash on the side platform there too. The gods are smiling upon Poppy right now. Okay, the wave dash forward F tilt making things kind of tricky for Poppy. This time he's able to shield it and find the punish. Edge guard situation goes through the really oh. laid back air. This yeah. time he doesn't want anything to do with that fair near the ledge. I actually think he messed up. He got like a pivot drop to the ledge, which I don't think he did intentionally, and then probably accidentally tournament winnered off of it. So it's like if you could do that intentionally, that's the fastest way to get to the ledge. But it was like too fast, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> oh! Oh! Jean Claude Van Damme gets Ops attack, but he gets a second try and does find the up smash. The correct decision the second time around. Or correct direction, sorry. So, now we have a last stock situation. Alright, so after game one, things looking pretty tight here. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Ben sort of setting up camp on the side platform a little bit, trying to bait Poppy in. Poppy being pretty conservative with his approach there. Oh, he could find a shine here. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Yeah. That's Great so opening close. from Poppy there. Yeah. Okay, he gets the full overshoot grab. Not able mm -hmm. to find much more off of it. Big read, big potential payoff, but uh, without getting the punish. Oh, pretty bad. oh the double shine. He gets Dude, the... He's so good at finding the shine runoff shine. Like, he's constantly threatening that the entire time. We saw one stock taken at zero for it, but we've seen him kind of threaten that option a lot. So it kind of doesn't surprise me now that he kind of finds those, because that is something he's kind of looking for. Ooh, but this back air could be enough. No, not strong enough to prevent Fox from grabbing the ledge here. A down smash will set it up, and the back air will cover every single angle that Fox could take as he just gets far enough out there to hit you. Really, really clean by Bobby to close out that stock. It was looking pretty tight there early on but then ben kind of closed things out just the last second dang ben just being resilient um yeah i think that happens sometimes with ben where <laughs> explosive stuff happens to him game one and then he just always comes back you know <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's that consistency right yeah. but i i don't think the story of the shine is over yet i think poppy can right, continue right. to find that sort of whenever yep but, I mean, Ben's already shown that it's, it's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I do think it felt like Ben had a little more control in neutral. So he, like, needs to, to get at least one of those shines and kind of up the control in neutral a little bit to take the win. So yeah, right now I, I we're think, seeing that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the big difference there was Poppy was able to find um, a big combo off his first opening, right? I feel mm -hmm. like Poppy was getting these big hits that, that could pay off, but they weren't paying off. And so right. if he can sort of keep that close and, and actually get those big punishes, then uh, we could see a lot more even of the game. That like, needle, so <laughs> smart. That was like three tournament winners in a row from Bobby when he got hit to the ledge and every single time he just got hit back off stage and it's like, ouch. <laughs> oh, and the Nair is going to take the jump. Buddy up, he's close enough to make the edge guard kind of tricky. Soft back air doesn't give him an opportunity to attack. Randall complicating the situation a little bit. Oh my God. Wow. And Poppy made him redo the edge guard like 20 times. Yeah. Ben gets the answer right every single time and is able to close it out. Ben's like, I'm down. I'll do it 20 times. 
That was a big deal. I will. I will do it. Oh! Do it again. Oh! Okay, uh -oh. Ben. Ben. Flurry of Aerials so on the side damage, platform. And he side like, the wrong oh. way. Randall actually would have messed up that edge guard. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if Fox had just side beat to the ledge, I think Randall would have messed him up and then he would have made it to the ledge. But instead, kind of gave up on that stock. Um, but he finds a back here. Let's see if that's enough to kind of bring him kind of back into the game right now. But right now, looking like the Ben show. Yeah, and Ben, ooh, he's able to find the F tilt. The up smash was a read that didn't pay off, but he's able to get out of there pretty easily. Oh, that pivot jump. Are you kidding me? Look at the pressure by Ben. Yeah, look at the spacing. He's completely immune to ledge dashing right now. He's just out of range of any invincible option. And he's saying, you have to deal with my fully spaced back air. But somehow, another shine spike finds his way into poppy guns. And he just has a last knock situation here. Okay. Oh, oh, at the last second, just gets there. But the shield drop up air. Probably going to set him up for a really clean edge guard here. Once again, sets up that perfect ledge trapping mm -hmm. spacing here. Yeah, and you can see the pressure that it's putting on Poppy, right? Just by being in that space, yeah. Poppy, it, it, it's clear that he's like kind of confused about how to respond. Yeah, this is really good discipline from Ben. It's just, I see so many people, they tend to ledge trap right, and then uh, eventually they get bored and they run up and they miss a down smash or something, right? But Ben is just, he, he really looks like he's not afraid of Fox's ledge dash, and he's willing to play out that game over and over and over again. So, like, look at these backers. What do you do? Poppy has no idea. Oh, you just wait for him to miss a wave land. That's what you do. <laughs> oh, and he gets the Nair out of shield. Poppy's going to get another chance, really making it hard for Ben to close it out. But Ben just not putting himself in danger. Really at all. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> the fact that Poppy's alive right now is terrifying. Oh, the soft up there does oh. kill up the side. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, there, there's a lot of things going on here. I think, obviously, uh, Poppy trying to play conservative, conservatively off of the ledge and Ben just giving him no quarter. Uh, mm -hmm. is a huge part of that story. I do not want to see Poppy go back to uh, Yoshi's. I think that was mm -hmm. that was really, really challenging. The other thing I want to mention is that throughout the day, as Poppy's made this run to Losers Finals, the story has been his corner pressure. Mm -hmm. And Poppy hasn't been able to make that work against Ben. Maybe the Falco switch up, the change of pace, right. maybe that'll work for him. We have seen the Falco back airs be a big part of his... Uh, edge game or, or, yeah. or corner pressure so maybe that's the answer but so far ben deleting a stock yeah still looking pretty good for ben right now i think that 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 last stock from the last game was kind of uh indicative that that poppy might have a little bit of an issue here it felt to me like he knew what ben was going to do and didn't have the answer right mm -hmm. uh, ben did like four backers in a row and then once he got close enough he switched to doing up tilt walk up up tilt walk up up tilt right like mm -hmm. and he just had such oppressive corner pressure um that being said poppy's change up is tends to be effective and once again he's finding quite a lot of damage right off the bat with his falco let's see if he can kind of turn it into a lead here or ben's tech chasing oh really good got another one into an edge guard this is an oh. easier edge guard than fox even you have no risk of getting burnt way willing to go down there ben once again has a lead yeah and, and poppy he he's looking pretty good here on the switch up right it's not like he's coming in cold or anything but mm -hmm. ben just so efficient with these kills two strong edge guards to give him the lead and oh god are we getting another one? Oh my god we see him go for the runoff poof and then we see him just come right back on and keep the combo going oh accidentally gets a forward smash on top platform doesn't even matter though everything's going right for him right now can this forward tilt turn into more it does turns into a platform tech chase yeah, and even the stray hits aren't converting much, but finally finds a shine into a back air. It's only a one-stock lead, right? I mean, not even a one-stock lead. It's 100%, right? So, how much can Falco get here? Good back air. Oh. And yeah, Ouch. just again, he... When you're playing against Sheik, you have to watch that area sort of mm -hmm. near center stage under the side platform. Yeah. Um, and, and Ben just keeps baiting Poppy into that area and yeah. getting the hits for it, so... Poppy's got to play more conservatively and find his way down there or bait mm. uh, Ben to come down earlier. Yeah, Ben's also getting a lot of damage off these tech chases. Sometimes not even quite real, but he'll like dash dance, bait out the shine, and then dash tech it or something. So mm -hmm. he's just getting a lot of it. Like, whenever he has initiative, it feels like he's winning the mix-ups. And right now, he's just getting all the damage that he needs. Going all the way to one more up air. One more up air. He just keeps getting up airs. How much damage can he get here? And now he's gotten to the checkmate situation where 